and welcome to my channel. So today I've got an unboxing for you. This comes from a company called Prism Diamond Painting, who are in the UK. And I bought two canvases from them. And when they sent them, they sent them both rolled up together. But anyway, so let's quite, very quickly, I'll just unroll this, I think. And we'll use this as the backdrop. And I will very, very quickly recap what um, people might be interested in, which is the, the toolkit. So we do have things that are a little bit different here is we have ourselves a blue bow instead of a white one. Uh, it's just one of the dinky ones, but it's fine. And the other difference is, uh, I'll just mention as well, obviously it comes in this little woven bag, but you can order the toolkit, no toolkit or wax only. So I ordered one toolkit and two pieces of wax because I've got two paintings. So yeah, it's white wax. Who knew? So I'll just put them away. And the other thing I will mention is I did buy some extra drills. As you can see, they are glow in the dark drills. So I will be using this on the other painting as well. Uh, you will may have already seen what I was planning to use them for in that one, but I'm gonna use it on this one as well. And then last but not least, we have our thank you card and there is their website. They are on Facebook and they are also on Instagram. So yeah. So let's have a look at the drills. If you're not familiar with how I do my unboxing videos, I do show the drills but I know not everybody likes them. So what I do is I put chapters along the bottom of the video. If you want to skip ahead to see what the canvas is, then you can find it in the chapter. And also when I talk about the, uh, the glow in the dark drills, but let's have a look at these. Let's tip them all out. Right then, so we, oh, let me get rid of that. So this is a 50 by 70, but we do get an inventory sheet. Oh, you've got a little flash there of what it is, even though you will have seen from the thumbnail. I always include the picture on the thumbnail, but I don't know. I quite like to uh, ramp it up. So this has 32 colours, not as much as the other painting. The other painting was amazing. I love, I love Max colours, um, the more the merrier. But this has 32 colours and it's quite a big inventory sheet. But yeah, I do like it when they include inventory sheets. So let me just very quickly, oh, lots of 310 in this. So let me just very quickly count up and make sure we've got 32. Right, so that's a bit of a bummer. I appear to be missing a bag. I appear to be missing 799. I even checked my other painting just in case it had slipped into that bag, but nowhere to be seen. So it looks like it's a blue. So obviously I will be contacting them about that. I will leave, a, I'll add a little bit on the end of the video, uh, just giving you an update on what they say when I contact them and uh, how long it takes for them to send me out my replacement drills. Well, they're not really replacement drills, are they? Because, you know, to replace, they'd have to be here in the first place. But yeah, I'll let you know what they say. And let's have a quick look at the drills I've got. So we have ourselves. I'll go through them quite quickly. Ooh, we've got a couple of uh, little friends in there. So you can see we've got lots of pinks, lots of blues in this painting. Uh, clearly I've had a very pink head on at the moment because <laughs> I've been buying lots of diamond paintings recently that's uh, with pinks and purples in. And this has got a lot of blue. I like these blues. Got some darker colours. Uh, obviously lots of 310 coming up. That's that. That's some 939. So this is the 310. Actually the, the bag is a little bit cloudy. Let me get a tray and uh, we'll look at them in that. Right, let's have a look. I will not pour out a billion drills. I will not pull out. I will not pour out a million drills. I will not pour out a million drills. Let's just go with that. If you're new here, I always pour out way too many drills. <laughs> so many. I don't know why, I just, I can't help myself. Right, so let's have a look at these. So we do have a tab there, but that's fairly normal. Uh, these are resin drills, so you do get more trash. That is like the downside of resin drills, but they are so much sparklier than uh, acrylic. It's just, it's for me, it's worth the extra hassle. So yeah, I can see a couple of tabs, but mostly they all look pretty good. So yeah, let's put those away. 798, oh, I've got, that's 550. Lots of nice sort of Cadbury's purple. Pink. Sort of deep red, berry red. Another pink. Ooh, frisky. Another nice blue there. I do like blues. 995, which is just as well, because this is a really, really vibrant blue. 
green there. That's a nice olivey green, but not much of it. Grey green, pink. One five four. Sort of lime green, beige, purple, purple, <laughs> purple, and finishing with a sort of petrol blue. Yeah, so let's get these drills out of the way with and I will show you the canvas. Right, are you ready? Because this is big and uh, it's not all going to fit on camera. Let's, oh, it's upside down. Let me do it that way. I'm wrestling with it. Okay, so here he is. You'll have to just see it from here. Ah, oh, look at him. He's brilliant. So I'll put a picture here because obviously I cannot fit him on, on camera. So this is a 50 by 70, so quite a big uh, canvas. And this is licensed art by Badger Ink Design, Rich Verlander. And yeah, so lots of pink. Here's all the blues. You can see he's the background. But I just love this cheesy, cheesy Cheshire cat. So obviously he's like an Alice in Wonderland-ish themed. So uh, here is the thumbnail. Let me just show you this. So you can see it for yourself on here. Yeah, and they give you a sticker on here. They had this on the other one as well, which is really nice. It's keep protective cover this way up. So that's just because this is a poured glue canvas. And when you peel that your canvas, uh, peel back your plastic, then uh, it's fine. But should you accidentally ever pull off the whole thing, especially if you're getting near the end, if you stick it down the wrong way, it's like both sides are not equal. Trust me on this. Uh, it's a disaster if you uh, stick it down the wrong side. So that's nice. It helps you keep your cover the right way up. So we've got the ledger in two places. We've got it down in the bottom left and up in the top right. So let's just measure this to see if it's correct to size. So it's supposed to be 50 across. And it is just a smidgen under and it's supposed to be 70 down try and do this without leaning across the uh, camera yes 70 so we are good for the size it is actual size well give us give or take a millimeter or so and yeah let's have a look at this drill field then so we'll get in um let's get into this cat <laughs> not words i thought i'd be saying today so we'll just start here and have a look at this canvas, this drill field. I've got to be careful because I always have a bad habit. I end up sticking to something. Uh, this is a and this is a super sticky canvas. I'm wow. Okay, <laughs> this is a wrestling match. Okay, so let's see if that shows. I need to be careful here. Uh, it's a very very sticky canvas. But um, can you see the drill field? So we have our white out symbols here. So we've got the A's. Um, usually it's the white out symbols that I worry about the most but this is this one's super clear and we've got this um, we do have a little bit of a sparkle to the canvas I'll, I'll have to go back and look at the other one I presume that did as well I just never noticed but yeah we have M's and H's which you know it's not too bad um, but yeah I'm not seeing anything that could cause any significant problems do we have an E? we have an F but we have we do have an E, but the B E is blue, so E and F. F is here. E is here. So completely different symbols. Even the, uh, it's completely different colours, even if the symbols are similar. So yeah, I don't think there's going to be any problems with uh, reading this canvas. Get this ca cover back down. Right. So shall we talk about the extra jewels that I bought? So I bought some glow in the dark. And you might, it might seem obvious now what, what I'm going to be doing with these. So I thought I would replace some of this with uh, the yellow to glow in the dark. And then I might, I'm not sure, I might do his teeth. I might not. They use 3866 for the white teeth, which is just off white. Uh, so it's not a big deal if I swapped out the glow in the dark for his teeth. Though I might do the eyes. So that is uh, like lime green. I might just replace it with yellow. We'll see what it looks like. Uh, but if not, I mean, they're glow in the dark. When am I ever not going to want to use glow in the dark? But I can definitely do the teeth. Anyway, so that's what I wanted to do with the uh, extra drills that I purchased from them. Uh, they do sell AB drills as well, should you ever be interested. So hopefully at this point I'll be about to insert, edit in, uh, like a response from Prism about the missing drills and an update with how long it took for them to get to me. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you again in a minute. 
Hello, me from the future. So, yes, here we have our package with some drills in. So, well, let's get it open, first of all. I have opened it already, but this this is a resealable sticker, so I, I didn't have to worry about it. Uh, but I did obviously check to make sure that I had the right thing. So we've got being sent our drills, our missing drills, in uh, two separate bags. So that was quite full, that's why. Uh, so this is the 799, which is that blue, which was used in the background. Now, um, to explain, as soon as I finished filming that uh, the unboxing, I went to Prism's website and used that. They have an instant messenger type thing. And so I did message them. That was on a fairly late on a Friday afternoon. I think it was like four o'clock. So I wasn't, I didn't actually think, uh, you know, I thought there was a possibility that I wouldn't even get a response till the Monday. I got a response in about 10 minutes. It was very fast. And, uh, you know, obviously they apologised and I, I just had to send them the details of which uh, drills I was missing. And they said, right, we'll take care of it. Now, uh, I was going on holiday anyway, so I wasn't particularly pushed about chasing up. But I didn't see anything straight away. And, uh, I, and I wasn't sure how long it would take because I wasn't sure if they had the drills in stock and they had to get them from elsewhere. You know, stuff like that. So about three weeks later, after I was back off holiday, I thought I'd drop them a message and just ch check in on the timeline. And uh, I just want to make sure that I hadn't slipped through the cracks because, you know, it's like, you know, everybody can get distracted. It's the weekend. And uh, so there's, like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't check in with you. Uh, we sent these. You didn't, you didn't get them. And I'm like, no. Like, uh, OK, so they sent them again. And uh, yeah, so it, that took another five days to come because they just sent them second class post, which is fine. So uh, who knows what happened to that uh, first set of replacement drills but it doesn't matter we got them now we have our happy ending and uh, we we have my replacement drills so yeah i just wanted to update that so it did take four weeks but there there was reasons that was not their fault so yeah back on to the main video hopefully it's all a happy ending <laughs> fingers crossed it's all a happy ending and prism have taken care of me let me know what you think of this painting and don't forget to check out the first painting that i bought from them which is of um, another multi-colored piece and if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave me that thumbs up because it really helps the channel thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day take care and see you again soon bye for now